What is up guys, I'm gonna bring you another OUPL game post narrated cause I was recording UU Premier League yesterday and this game was going on at the same time and I didn't realize it so couldn't catch it live unfortunately. Oblivion bringing some RS looking balance type of team with some offense from Axel 10 and let's get right into it. We see Mew leader versus Greninja, this could be Ash Gwyn, um I assume he's gonna go for Dark Pulse or Spikes if he's Ashgren and I assume uh, Oblivion's gonna go Torn or Tangles here to scout. Going off, uh, I assume this is like a Solvest Torn. He gets up a Spike and Oblivion can go for U-Turn here but as uh, Axel Time brings in the Coco, I think he decides to go for a Knock Off and we see Z-Move Coco since uh, no item is getting knocked off. So if I was Axel Time I would probably go for U-Turn here breathing the Tangles. But yeah, I think he's just, uh, he just goes for T-Bolt. I've seen the fa first five turns of this game, but not more. And yeah, I would go for Giga Drain here, not letting the Medichim in for super free, because that does the most damage. But I think he just goes for Hidden Power here, predicting potential land risk. I assume this is Hidden Power I since uh, Tangos is like the best thing. He has to check Zygarde on this team. And yeah, now looking at... Oblivion, he doesn't have good switch-ins for Medicham. Uh, electric Terrain Mew with a Spike, I might get to it killed. Oh yeah, I might also, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he has to be defensive Mew, like Medicham is such a threat to his team. But maybe Adamant and Electric Terrain to it kills, I haven't run the code. But yeah, he decides to go out into Torn, this is actually the last turn that I've seen. I don't know what will go be going on later. The rest of the game is unspoiled, non-spoiled for me. So High Jump Kick, I don't know, like, I feel like Electric Terrain was free. Unless he predicted the guard trump, which was maybe a pivot play by Obliviate, breaking the ice punch. Uh the, the the T punch, not the ice punch, what am I saying? So like I don't think this Medicham would be bullet punch on his team. I think Fag out Hydram Kick Ice Punch and T Punch would make sense. So Obliviate can make an aggressive play, break the Medicham to switch out. Um he can go double out if he doesn't want to take helmet if he predicts it to be helmet landers or he can go for hurricane but we will see what he does okay, he doubles out into mew i don't know if he predicted the landers but the coco comes out which is a bit weird to me i mean yeah coco also comes in on tornadoes fine but there's still an option that tornadoes could have sludge wave i mean i obviously understand I obviously understand going Coco, like it makes a lot of sense that like you don't want to go uh, Landers and take a lot from Hurricane, but he also has a Stealth Stealer. Like he had a multiple options there. Anyway, I think the Muse is gonna go for Defog here because the electric, electric Terrain ran out, so it's not like the Coco can do a lot of damage. And we see Z-Move Coco from earlier because it didn't get knocked off here. I'm kind of curious as to if it's uh, Z. Thunderbolt or like some some other Z move like a Garden of Alola which does seventy five percent of health to one Pokemon. So Ash Grin comes back in. I assume we're gonna see the Tangle switch here from Oblivion's part. And is that belly to that doesn't two KO the belly avoids the two KO is what I meant to say. And you're gonna see a knockoff of Giga Train, I assume. He doubles out, making a nice play in a heat turn. Actually, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know why I said a nice play. Um, this could be HBI turn. You never know. But I'm assuming this is Magma Storm. So he can go for Magma Storm if he predicts the landers to go for rocks here. But he doesn't want to risk that. He just goes with Kelly on the Earth slash rocks on the Earthquake. And now he's basically going, yeah, I was about to say, he doesn't have good switch-ins besides, like, Stealer, he's the death. And yeah, he can throw off a Leech GT with a Cell Stealer. Which is uh, what he decides to do, and Cell Stealer has Protect, so this Protect is kind of obvious. I would double Leech GT here if I was Axel 10. Or maybe Heavy Sun predicting something like the Tangles, or he goes Torn. Nice play by Axel 10, they're catching Torn. As we see, yeah, he gets his Bedev boost, confirming he's the Bedev Stealer. But you already knew that from the damage from Hydro Pump. And yeah, I believe it has to hit a Magma Stone here to kill us. And he misses, which sucks. I don't know if it would have killed with his Bedev, but maybe it would have done only 50. Because the Steel would be bulky with Bedev boost, especially. And yeah, I assume we're going to see a Leech Cheater Earthquake. 
Yeah, at least she. Mm, I can I I can see um him going to Kelly here. Goes to Landorus, okay. As that doesn't do it, KO. I think with the lead sheet. Oh, it's a roll. I think that did 52, but here he gets uh, he gets a min roll here, which sucks. Or like a lower roll, and yeah, Excel gets his rocks up. Just as Landorus still lives thanks to the lead sheet. But yeah, he hits the man still, so that's nice for Oblivion. He already missed one earlier. And yeah, so we're just gonna see how jump kick here, Bob the Tran, and he can go Mew and default here, but Oblivion is pretty much in a losing position. Okay, the ghost guard chomp. I assume it's a scarf chomp, and so we're gonna see average Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw probably. Okay, goes for Earthquake, catches the Kelio. I mean, there was still a set of steel around, so I don't know if I would have gone for that. But yeah. The yeah, Dranklaw might have not killed the Medic Jimmy on 75, I don't know the cult. But yeah, this is a Scarf Kelio, so I don't know if it would be Icy Wind. Icy Wind is not common on Kelly at the moment. But yeah, like Axel 10, if, it's, if you think it's Scarf Chomp, which is probably the case, he can go on a, a set of Steeler here. Or he can like bluff the icy wind and scale it out. So we see him go on a Tangrowth, which makes a lot of sense. We want him to get some more regenerator. We see it's icy wind, but Tangrowth eats that up like it's his job. And we're gonna see Giga Drain on knockoff here. Never mind, he doubles out again. I cannot predict this guy. He just makes another play than I thought he would do all the time. But yeah, he's um, this is bad because this Coco probably has taunt, or Tebow will do a lot even if it doesn't have taunt. He just goes for Yujan. So Mew is gonna go for softball at default here. And yeah, he can just click Dark Pulse here, so he's probably forced out into Tangros, which can maybe avoid the tweet KO. Now Tangros would have gone tweet KO'd after rocks, I think. Oh yeah, he goes hard Gachan, which was his only play. <clears throat> but uh, I think Earthquake doesn't kill Greninja from full. I think he has to go for Outrage. I think Earthquake only kills after rocks. But he's probably going to sell a stealer here. A potential outrage or Dragon Claw. As it's SD Chomp, so it's not Scarf Chomp, so I was wrong there. So it's Scarf Kelly on Oblivion's team, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, no, I thought it was Stone Edge Guard Chomp. Because uh, Stone Edge kills Volcarona through Charlie Betty, which has been a set that has been used uh, lately. Charlie Betty Volcarona. Stone Edge Kelly doesn't kill it, the Guard Chomp does. If I recall correctly, I should run the cult. But yeah, this could be. um. Dragonium or Fire Z move or something. Now I'm pretty sure it's Z move chump after he went for that SD. So he only gets up his rocks there, maybe predicting Axel Scout for Z move and wanting to keep his Saddle Steeler healthy, but he didn't really need a Saddle Steeler healthy, I think. So yeah. Sex of his chomp there to the heavy slam, and I don't see Oblivion coming back. Like what he doesn't have anything to kill us. He can go for knock off our Lewis or whatever this Mew has, but like yeah, that's not gonna beat this. Like he's gonna go for Leech Seed here. There's also rocks on Oblivious side. He has Defog again. This gives Ash going a free switch in basically. Okay, if he doubles out. Okay, yeah, he just set up rocks, so defogging doesn't make much sense. But he doubles in the tank with breaking the Ash Gun, I think. But yeah, Steeda just goes for a flamethrower. And he doesn't heal anything, even if he pivots back out because he took rocks and flamethrower. So that's at more than 33, which is the amount of health that regenerate our heals. Goes back to Mew, but yeah, this, I don't see Oblivion's Wincon at all. I'm kind of forced to softball here. And Celestine is probably going to leech again. Goes back to Tango's predicting a leech, okay? Notice where he gets some regen. You could see Oblivion staying in predicting a double leech, see, but. Axel Tank can just click buttons, it doesn't really matter what he does, like he can he doesn't have to lead seed. Yeah, he can just click flamethrower. And Mew is forced to softball, so he just gets the free lead seed next turn anyway. Yeah, okay. Not forced to make any plays. Brings in a Coco. I hope we see a Z move come out now, that would be cool. It just goes for a regular T build. He's spamming softball, trying to start out the electric terrain potentially, probably. 
That's a default. I mean, Mew is annoying for Exo 10, but he just has, if he brings his Ash Grin save in, like, oh, his Grin, it's not an Ash form yet. As he does here, because Mew was forced to softball there. He can fire off Dark Pools as now, and. Tangles can avoid a 2 KO, but Tangles is to risk getting critted or flinched. But yeah, he's always not gonna risk his Greninja. He's just gonna go back to Steela or Coco. Yeah, Steela. I don't know why I said Coco. That's a critical hit with a knockoff. So that was a nice uh, knockoff there, getting rid of the lefties on Steela. Maybe going for Leech here, but he can switch to get some health back. Okay, just go for Flame Thrower. But yeah, whenever Medichain comes in on Tangles, um, if Mew is not full. Like not healthy, it's gonna be bad for Obliviate. As he tries to pivot into Tangles there on the leech here, and Exotan catches him, goes for Flamethrower, gets a crit. Which is a bit annoying for Obliviate. Yeah, Mew comes back in, but Mew only has so many softballs left though. I don't see Obliviate winning this, because he spams softballs. Okay, he misses a whiff, that sucks. Okay, that would've been nice to hit that. But like eventually runs out of softballs and then Medichim becomes such a huge threat. I could see the Grin going for a spike here or just Dark Pools again. Yeah, it goes for Dark Pools. And I could see Oblivion doubling out into Mew, maybe putting the Medichim like a Lord. But yeah, just kick it in, that was a good play, yeah. Forget what I said, that was a good play, getting health back. And Mew's gonna come out here. There's no electric terrain, so T-Punch won't do it kill, but the high jump kick did a lot, good lord. My jump's pretty strong. I mean, it's known. But, like, it's always surprised me how much it does to resist, even. Like, this probably bolt Mew, even, and it's still at 37%, which is crazy, as he's gonna go back to tank. Repeating the process. <clears throat> and he's always forced to get it in on knockoff here. So this guy comes out. Probably just gonna kick flamethrower. Oh, makes the risky leashy play. I thought he might do that, but then I was like, you have no reason to do that. Like, you can potentially get a burn if the Mew comes out. But yeah, I can completely understand the leashy play. I don't know if I would have made it, but I can understand it. See, I don't know if this Mew, what's the last move on this, do we know yet? We saw Softball, Will-O-Wisp, Defog. I'll get Psychic for Toxic Packs. Do it Toxic Packs, and... That does a good chunk on the Coco. The Coco would have been dead if he hit the Will-O-Wisp earlier by now. Like, it wouldn't have been dead, but it wouldn't super low. It would have been super low, basically. You can Softball up again here, but... Basically keeps this Mew low. Makes it waste more softballs and okay, he crits it, which sucks. So, like, Oblivion, I think, still had a slight chance, but I don't know if he. Mm. So, we finally see the Z move. We finally see the Z move. It's Supersonic Sky Strike, but he's burned, so it's a Z Brave, but it's not gonna do anything. I haven't seen that set in a long while time, so like, I didn't consider that being an option. <laughs> Yeah, Mage, I'm gonna go for a high jump kick. Okay, fake out in the high jump kick. Ice, in the ice punch here, yeah, you don't wanna miss. Now, probably, probably, yep. Yeah, high jump kick was probably the better play in case the Kelly pivot. The Kelly pivot was an option, but I don't even know if Kelly lifts the high jump kick. Yeah, okay. Exo 10 said in the chat, GG got lucky, you played well too. Oh, they both said you played well. So, yeah, nice sportsmanship there. No hate towards each other. That's nice to see. Still gets a kill with Surf, Scarf Kelly, and Medjim's gonna kill Fake out here. <laughs> yeah, actually, Oblivion could have won that without the crit, good lord. I like how he played his way, like how he played back into this game. But yeah, I will show you guys the score for this week and everything. So yeah, we are here at Twin Leaf Thunders versus uh, Tops and Noctiles. League playing with Ray Scarf is later. I don't hope the series won't be decided till then. Actually, Tricky and Rory, they played earlier, so I missed that game too. So I don't know if I will post and write that, but it was Sun and Moon Oyu, so probably will. Yeah. The Twin Leaf Thunders are up. Um, 
3 and 1, yeah, even though Axel beat Oblivion. They were up 3 0 before that. I won't spot out this game. And let me show you, like, the. The Twin Leaf Thunders are managed by uh, Jirachi and Blonda. I always forget this, so I wanted to mention this again. And the tops and knock tiles are managed by Tokyo Tom and Poek. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped for Poker TG Gamer vs. Lighthouses, which should happen around Smog Tourist time. And yeah, obviously OST Finals are today. That's the most hype about this day. You guys all enjoy it! Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. <laughs> Peace out. More content gonna be coming for sure, for sure.